Hi, I'm Kane from Ultravans. We create premium campervan conversions based on the Volkswagen Crafter. I'd like to take this opportunity to walk you around one of our latest creations based on our Ultra 2 layout. We think the Crafter is already a great looking vehicle, so there's not really much that needs doing to it. But what we do is add some larger alloy wheels just to give it that stature on the road, makes the vehicle seem slightly more sporting, slightly more aggressive, dare I say. We also include flush mounted privacy windows, a sliding one in the center of the vehicle, and then a smaller vent window towards the rear above the bed. Both of those come with fly screens just to help keep those bugs out of the vehicle in the evening. We also include a 4.25 meter awning which gives you that little bit of shelter from the occasional bit of drizzle while you're having that barbecue, but it also helps to protect you from the sun on a glorious day like today. This particular layout is focused on space and comfort. We include a nice large bench seat so you can recline in the evenings, a bit of storage underneath, and twin rotating cab seats, passenger and driver, which gives a nice open lounge feel. Over on this side, we've got a very generous uh, kitchen galley uh, and this includes a decent sized oven, grill and three hobs, a nice bit of worktop area to do your food prep and a decent size uh, stick sink to make sure that you can wash up all those pots and pans that you created. In the rear we've got the king size width bed in this case. Uh, it has an ottoman for storage alongside it and it has a great amount of storage underneath in the garage area which we'll show you a little bit later on. The focus in there really is about creating a, a comfort sanctuary, uh, so a padded headboard is just a nice place to be. As we move around, we've got a large washroom area, which includes a really spacious and powerful shower for that uh, morning freshener, and there's a bench seat toilet in there as well. So one thing that people really appreciate about this layout is the amount of space that you've got up front here. So this area for relaxing in the evening is, uh, is great. You've ultimately got some little spotlights above your head here so that you can read the paper at the end of the day. Nicely led out on the sofa with your back up against the wall there. In the cab area, you can rotate the seats to suit whichever angle suits you. And there's a removable tabletop which plums in pretty much where I am now, which gives easy access to each of these three, four seats, depending on which way you orient it because it swivels. Um, it's a really, really useful space, really flexible, uh, and for those with uh, a, a larger pet, a dog, um, this is a great space for them to spend the evening as well, which is something you don't normally find in some of the smaller camper vans. So just to give you a little bit of a guided tour of the galley itself. Uh, nice and compact, but gives you plenty of room to do what you need to do. And what we do is build in storage really front of mind here. Um, don't like little cupboards that you can't get things out of the back of. So every one of our drawers is a good, deep, full size drawer. We try and make them deeper where possible. And they've all got a soft close mechanism and lock closed. Cutlery drawer at the top. And then you've got three further larger drawers down here. And as I say, all of them soft close, which just makes it feel a little bit more like home. Full size oven, as I mentioned earlier on, it's got a grill at the top so you can cook a, a decent sized meal in here. You lift the lid and that gives you your three gas burners. It's got an electronic ignition, so you don't need to worry about finding those matches. As we move further along, we've got a 240 volt plug socket there, which is powered automatically by either the inverter or the mains hookup, depending on uh, where you're connected, but more about that later. And then you've got a 12 volt uh, USB-A and USB-C socket there to cater for every need. Full size sink here, it's got a lift up lid, it's a decent size, so you wash up in, wash your hands, whatever you need to do in there. And then we fit a, a, a swivel tap with a, um, a, a shower head attachment that includes it on there as well. Uh, and it just makes washing up a little bit easier. A locker above the kitchen for your mugs, coffee, tea, etc, etc. Uh, and then down here we've got a 80 litre Dometic fridge. Uh, it's got a nice compartment as well, so you can keep your ice cubes in there. Um, and really these things are super efficient. They sip very little battery power, but they keep everything nice and cold and they're very quiet with it as well. As we come down, we've got LED lighting under the pelmets on both sides, and that helps with the rest of the ambient lighting just to give a really nice atmosphere on those cozy evenings. A little bit more about the washroom. So in here, we've got a really generous shower space, uh, a nice riser rail, just like you'd find at home with a mixer valve 
shower control to give you that nice hot warm shower we fit a really good pump is standard to these vehicles so you get a, a good powerful shower little sh shower curtain to drag around you and that shower curtain magnetically attaches to the wall just to keep it tight stop the water getting out we keep it further away from you than necessary so it doesn't cling to your body unnecessarily down on the floor we've got a duckboard which we include in every vehicle as standard just for a little bit of sort of non-slip protection there are twin drains in the shower base and they're on opposing sides so that whatever level you're on the shower should drain effectively as we move up there's a warm air vent and that helps keep the bathroom nice and toasty warm in the winter uh, but what it also does is helps you to dry out any coats that may be a bit damp or to keep the shower area uh, drying quickly and, and feeling fresh as we move up to help with that feeling fresh we've got uh, an automatically activated light and extractor fan so when you open the door and you enter the cabin the light and the extractor van will switch on at exactly the same time and it'll stay on for five minutes after you get out uh, and that's nice because it means that you don't forget to switch it off afterwards uh, but then you don't have to worry about switching it on moisture is not a good thing in camper vans so to have a really good extraction system is really important in the bathroom we've got the bench seat on the left hand side with a flushing toilet as you'd expect and as we move up there's a, a small shelving unit just for you to store toilet roll shower gel those sorts of bits and pieces so it's really really tightly packed well-functioned space we do this in a variety of colors this particular customer specified a monochrome type finish so we've got the, the black and white but we look forward to trying to see how we can customize this to suit you so the bed area in this vehicle is probably one of its nicest features uh, we have a padded headboard at the back there just so that you can sit up in bed in the morning drink that cup of tea and enjoy the paper uh, it's a king size bed in width as I mentioned earlier but that means it gives a space for a little ottoman on the left hand side and that gives you somewhere to pop that cup of tea or your iPad or to watch that film before you go to bed and uh, it's just a great little usable space while not compromising the width of the sleeping area because we create little cutouts in the headboard that allows the pillow to push back into there very slightly just gives us a little bit more free bed space and it, and it lets your head sit where it needs to be without being artificially pushed down by your shoulder pushing up on the edge of the pillow but generally speaking it's a great comfortable area it feels really cozy when you're in there a little bit of overhead storage from the lockers um, and then you've got twin rear spotlights for reading and just behind the bathroom here there's another USB A slash C port for you to charge up your device overnight uh, a really nice comfortable usable space the bed area itself is actually on slats so they've got some spring and some give to them both on on the, the uh, each side of the bed and as well as that we've got a silent night memory foam cool touch mattress which really gives a lovely comfortable night's sleep in conjunction with those slats uh, it's just a really cozy bed space and a nice place to sleep and welcome to the engine room of the ultra vans layout and this houses all the components you need to keep your van running effectively but on top of that it provides this huge storage space for you to take with you anything that you need on your travels we try and help with compartmentalizing this area by including a locker on the left hand side which is primarily the electrical controls locker on the right hand side we've got two further lockers one of which deals with the water pump and the filters but on this side we've also got a completely empty storage locker for things that you might need to take with you hook up cables hose pipes that kind of thing Otherwise, this vehicle and all our vehicles will be fitted with a couple of tie down points for you to help keep things stable. But to be honest with you, this area is to be used exactly as you see fit. So divvy it up as you see appropriate according to what you need to take with you on your travels. It might be sliding in a bike with the wheel off. It might be sports equipment or just luggage, a gas barbecue and your table and chairs. It's just a great space to use and it's absolutely cavernous. Because we're focusing on practicality as well as comfort, we've included all that you'd usually expect to find and probably a little bit more uh, in your camper van, including reading spotlights dotted around the areas where you're likely to want to be able to read a book. We've got two gooseneck uh, spotlights in the front above the cab seats, which gives a nice little bit of reading space there. Uh, as well as that, those gooseneck spotlights have actually got a USB port in them, so you can charge up your Kindle while you're reading, for example. Uh, as we move around the cabin, you'll find a selection of 12 volt USB sockets, so USB-A and USB-C, both catered for. Uh, and they're really conveniently placed. There's one in the kitchen, one in the bed area, one in the locker here, and as I said, a couple in the front there as well. So we tried to sort of make things as, if, uh, as practical as possible for, for how you would want to use the van in any configuration. 
Something else we've done is included 13 amp sockets as you'd expect throughout the vehicle. There's one by the seat and the cab there so that your passenger could work on the move if they needed to. Um, we've also got one in the up, uh, overhead locker in the lounge area just so that you can charge something out of sight. And we've also got another socket down under the bench seat for exactly the same reason, just in case you wanted to charge a laptop while you had to leave the van, for example, or something like that. There's a double socket above the uh, worktop space here, so you could pop your kitchen appliance on the side and use that as you see fit. And there's a, a further double socket in the rear of the vehicle in the garage area, which we'll show you when we give you a bit more in-depth into the electrical system and the rear of the vehicle. So here's our control panel in this camper van. Uh, has a Little USB charging socket, so USB-A and USB-C, exactly the same as you'd find around the rest of the vehicle. Also has a little voltage indicator on it as well, just to help uh, keep an eye on that battery state. We've got a single 13 amp plug socket, so you can charge your appliance out of the way. Uh, moving along, we've got a gas level indicator, so one quick push tells you the status of the gas. Uh, the sun's reflecting on that, but you can see it's nearly, nearly half full on this particular vehicle at the moment. Moving down, we've got a selection of fuses. Uh, we could tuck these out of the way, but we want to keep these things accessible in the event that should you need to, to, to change one, you know where they are and you know where to find them. And that's just for the front part, uh, part of the vehicle. The rest are in the rear, which we'll show you a little bit later on. Here we've got a master control switch for the lights. This is an overall control switch. Same applies for the water pump so that you can switch the water pump off here if you need to. Finally, while on the subject of water, we've got the fresh water indicator here. So red up to green for for how full the tank is. As you can see, this tank is empty at the moment. And then when the vehicle gets to 20% from the top on your wastewater, so that's water from the sink and the shower, you'll see this glows red automatically to tell you that you need to empty the tank. And then moving along, we've got the Truma controls. And this is a, a really intuitive control panel from Truma. And effectively, this controls your hot water and your heating. So just the same as you would at home, you set the interior of the vehicle to 20 degrees or 21 degrees and the blown warm air heating will keep the, the vehicle to the temperature that you choose. Uh, it's really efficient and in the deepest, darkest winter days, I assure you this room, uh, this van will be toasty warm. And you just turn it up or down by adjusting the knob as you, just as you would at home. This also is your hot water control. Uh, the boiler that we fit ultimately runs off gas or electricity and so you can change that depending on what fuel source is available using this panel. Every Ultravan that we produce is made with the concept of letting the vehicle look after itself so that you don't have to. Ultimately, we don't want you having to spend time trying to find the right switch to toggle, to turn on something or to switch something over. It should look after itself. To help with that, we try to keep things simple in the engine room as well. And that includes, in this cabinet here, a 200 amp hour lithium battery. We choose lithium because they're modern technology it allows you to drain the battery almost down to zero, unlike traditional uh, batteries that you'd find in, in leisure vehicles. And the joy of that is that you can go for long periods without having to charge up. To help with that charging, uh, the vehicle will of course charge the batteries up when you plug it into a main supply, but also when you're driving along, the B2B charger that we fit as standard will keep the battery topped up in the leisure compartment automatically. So you've always got as much charge as possible when you get to your destination. On top of that, this locker also contains a master control switch to turn off the battery power to the vehicle should you need to, and the main fuse board. So in conjunction with the small one that you saw in the front of the vehicle, uh, that just makes sure that you've got all your fuses in one place should you need to investigate any concerns. In addition, we also fit Victron components to most of our vehicles, and that includes the Easy Plus Compact that you see behind me. This is primarily done for safety. It's a very, very safe piece of equipment. Intelligent circuitry will make sure that in the event of a fault, it cuts the power source immediately. And it's something that's often overlooked in camper van conversions. Uh, so that the main supply and the 12 volt uh, regulated components are all within that box there that you see behind me. In addition, that box is clever because it has an inverter built in. So that means that when you plug in a 13 amp three pin socket to your any of the uh, sockets within the vehicle, that box will keep you with uninterrupted power, whether you're on hooked up to a grid at a campsite, or whether it's using the battery to recreate a 13 amp power source for you while you're on the go. And it switches between the two dynamically. You don't have to do anything. It automatically detects that you're either on hookup or you're on battery only, and it will still deliver you the power that you're expecting. Again, with that safety layer built in. Over and above that, while we're on technology, we also fit uh, a 5G Wi-Fi antenna onto the roof of the vehicle. So that means that you can pick up mobile signal wherever you are, and gives you the, the best possible signal strength available because the antenna's on the roof of the vehicle. And then that comes down inside to a Wi-Fi router that's placed 
in the locker above the bed uh, in the rear of the vehicle and what that allows you to do is connect uh, numerous devices up to 16 uh, to allow you to, to gain internet access on the move and that system pretty much looks after itself but if you choose to you can take it from the bracket and take it out to the beach with you for the day and take your Wi-Fi access with you. Uh, it's a really simple system um, but very effective and gives those who want to work from the vehicle the best possible chance of doing so successfully. We hope you enjoyed this short guided tour of this Ultra 2 model. At Ultravans our ethos is about designing and building a robust vehicle that will stand the tests of everyday life as well as designing in some nice features and stylish touches at the same time. To learn a bit more about that ethos as well as the specification of vehicles such as this and other layout options as well as how you can put your own stamp on an Ultravans vehicle please visit our website at ultravans.co.uk.